The Guam Department of Education is having talks with the U.S. DOE officials about getting the department off of high-risk grantee status. But according to Education Committee Oversight Chairperson Narissa Underwood, it's going to take longer than expected. PNC's Rizal Romanis has more in this report. Education Committee Oversight Chair Senator Narissa Underwood did not just want to hear updates while the Guam Department of Education meets with U.S. DOE officials about getting the department off of high-risk grantee status. She went on the trip to D.C. with them. I wanted to know um, really what's our, our timeline here for getting them off the high-risk status and also what needs to happen. GDOE has been placed on high risk for more than a decade and because of this special condition, the department requires a third-party fiduciary agent to look over its financial situation, which costs Guam about $3 million a year in local funds. This past Friday, Underwood, along with GDOE officials, met with the U.S. DOE high-risk management team. And I want to know at what point are we going to be able to um, invest that $3 million in our local uh, resources and actually um, stop the contract with the um, third party. And um, uh, the meeting, uh, did, in our meeting with, my meeting with the uh, U.S. DOE, they could not give me a timeline uh, for, for us to, be, to get off the, the high risk. Senator Narissa Underwood tells PNC that U.S. DOE sees progress being made, but their primary concern with Guam DOE is accountability. But I did ask, I said this is going to take at least another five years. They said no, uh, but a lot of this will be dependent on uh, the extent to which we can actually uh, demonstrate that we are um, at a sustainable uh, 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 level for meeting the high standards of accountability. Underwood says she asked U.S. DOE for guidelines to ensure that GDOE meets all the requirements. She says if GDOE continues to improve their financial management system, she believes it would take a couple more years for the department to be ready for another evaluation. Underwood says this summer, U.S. DOE officials will be visiting Guam. At that point, uh, the U.S. DOE officials will uh, provide um, the legislature, the governor, and also the people of Guam, uh, uh, you know, more detailed progress of where we are at and what what else we would have to address. Um, but I congratulate the superintendent for uh, the efforts that had already been made, and I believe that they're in the right uh, path uh, for developing that transition plan and implementing that transition plan. She encourages DOE and its support staff to keep up the good work. We need to be supported and we need to ensure that we have consistency and we, we uh, maintain this uh, level of professionalism and effort to improve the system. Uh, this is a long process that uh, DOE did not uh, get placed in, in high risk uh, status overnight it happened over a period of 10 or 15 years it will take um i think uh, a little bit longer than we had anticipated but progress has been made i have seen it we're romanis pnc news